Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Imam Abdul Majid, student in Mechanical Engineering Department, 11 Maret University, Indonesia. I'm proud to be here to present my research in 26 International Conference on Fracture and Structural Integrity. I want to talk about my research, Structural Assessment of Leather Frame Chassis Using Finite Element Analysis, a design construction referring to IC Cobra. In the first chapter, I want to talk about introduction, the second is literature review, and the third is pioneer work on structural chassis design and analysis, in chapter 4, analysis preparation, in chapter 5, results and discussion, and the last is conclusions. Almost all activities carried out by people are related to the use of transportation structure. This facility makes it easy for people to move place or goods to certain destination. Technology in the field of transportation help develop very rapidly in developed and developing countries. This development are required because of the higher level of human mobility. Based on data from Indonesian Statistical Center in 2018, the number of bus vehicles was 2 million. As for passenger vehicles or cars, as many as 16 million. This number will continue to increase over time. Pressure for cost-effective product and the time to market has been increased over the years. Chassis is one of the important parts that used in automotive industry. Automotive chassis is a frame just like skeletal on which various machine parts like engine, tires, and axle assemblies. It gives strength and stability to the vehicle under different conditions. The frames provide strength as well as flexibility to the automobile. Analysis on design chassis referring to an IC Cobra car using finite element analysis technique, different loading condition has been simulated to assess the build quality and design how the chassis would rig in different situation. Optimization help very much due to the critical areas, visualization and over build areas of the chassis. The different type of automobile chassis include leather chassis, monocoque chassis, and backbone chassis. The leather chassis consider one of the oldest form of automotive or car chassis still used by most SUVs today. As the name implies, leather chassis reassemble a leather shape having two longitudinal rails interlinked by several lateral and cross braces. This research use finite element stress analysis needs to be carried out at the failure region to determine the stress distribution and possible design improvement. A general engineering approach is to design structural that have maximum internal stress several times, safety factor less than the yield strength of the used material to prevent structural failure. Thus, this is a practical purpose to have a method that can be applied to study the chassis response under various loading conditions. The re research use finite element analysis to investigate car chassis response under static loads such as the stress loads, strain, displacement, reaction force, and safety factor. The pioneer works on structural chassis design and analysis, all of the sources using numerical analysis tools. First, Oyes and Kurolai in 2002 using static load on leather chassis with stress analysis. In 2009, Salzano et al. using static load 
on space frame with torsional stiffness analysis. In 2018, Mohamed et al. using static and dynamic load on space frame with static analysis, model analysis, transient analysis, and fatigue analysis. In 2018, Nugroho et al. using static load on leather chassis with displacement, force, moment, normal stress, shear stress, torsional stasis, analysis. And the last, in 2020, Ari et al. using static load on leather chassis with safety factor, displacement, stress, and strain analysis. In this part discussion subject about geometry and applied material and numerical configuration. First, geometry and applied material. This S equal brassasis material use steel and is designed using a double sided tube beam leather frame. Then, the material is given to the chassis by using finite element simulation software. Then, determine geometry fixed setting, input force on the part, running mesh process, then result in static load simulation. The final step is calculating data. The frame will be simulated with static loading by determined fixed support and then will be given the vertical force. The support fixed to the frame are claimed about both the front and rear suspension. The specification of the chassis is described in Table 1, and the applied material using for Esi Cobra similar chassis leather frame in this study case is steel. This material properties have shown in Table 2. Then, the numerical configuration. This case study to fix constraint in every front wheelbase and rear wheelbase with direction X, Y, and Z in fixed support. The boundary condition is defined in modeling as shown in Figure 3. The car chassis model is loaded by static forces from the car body and passenger load. For this model, the maximum loaded weight of the car and passengers is 49,000 kg in vertical force. The load is assumed as no load in horizontal and a uniform load distributed obtained from the maximum loaded weight divided by the total length of the chassis frame. Detail loading of the model is shown in figure 4. Result of the design chassis using finite element analysis include displacement contours, stress strain contour, reaction force, and safety factor. Displacement in mechanics is distance moved by a particle or body in a specific direction. The displacement of the chassis and the location of maximum displacement of the Esi Cobra chassis is shown in figure 5. The result obtained at the maximum total of displacement are 0.3 mm. And the maximum displacement in a specific direction is at normal x is 0.03 mm, at normal y 0.04 mm, at the normal z is 0.02 mm. Then, stress strain contours. Stress analysis is based on the mechanical properties of the material and its ability to withstand the anticipated loads. In figure 6, it shown the result obtained based on the analysis that has been done. The result stress Analysis obtain the maximum for missile stress are 264.4 MPa and the first principle is 194 MPa and the third principle is 
26.79 MPa. The strength is the ratio between the deformation and the original length. Think of strength as a percent elongation, how much bigger or smaller is the object upon loading. In figure 7, it is shown the result obtained based on the analysis that has been done. The result strain analysis obtained the maximum normal x is 4.5 times 10 to minus 4, normal y is 6.2 times 10 to the minus 4, and normal z is 4.9 times 10 to the minus 4. Reaction force. The reaction force is the force that arises due to an active force based on the Newton's third law. The reaction force does not work on the same object with the force of action even though the magnitude is the same. It means that if there is a pair of force in the opposite direction and the same magnitude. In figure 8, it is shown that the result obtained based on the analysis that has been done. The result obtained at the maximum total of reaction force are 368.6 Newton. Safety factor or safety figures are one of important parameters to determine whether a construction is safe or not. Safety factor is defined as the ratio between the strain of the material and the maximum stress in the part. Construction is declared safe if the safety number is above 1. From the analysis result, the desensitization safety factor maximum at 15 and minimum at 1.1053. This result can be seen with a color orientation of the process simulation done. And the last is conclusion. Analysis of the descent curve such as referring to SE Cobra is carried out, aiming to find how much displacement, stress, strain, reaction force, and safety factor. The computational investigation of the ladder frame chassis, referring to SE Cobra, has been carried out. In general, the chassis is safe enough to be used for sport car because it has already tested through finite element analysis simulation. The maximum displacement is 0.3 mm with a 1.153 safety factor and the maximum for missile stress of the chassis is 264.4 MPa. It means that the chassis is can hold 49,000 newton vertical load and still deform elastically and even under allowable material properties. Modern engineering CAD tools and finite element analysis software were extensively applied, which also contribute to a reliable project confirmed during the endurance and functional test. Okay. That's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.